Mm. You know, I woke up every day thinking, is this going to be the last day of quarantine? Tuesday briefing, South Korea flattened its curve, hopes for countries starting to stop their outbreak. Afghan deal via Skype. It's not done yet. Dubai has been taking extremely good measures in terms of how to prevent the coronavirus from happening. It's super good what they're doing. The lockdown didn't happen all of a sudden, but they're urging everyone to stay at home. So I'm gonna urge you as well to just stay at home no matter what. One of the things that I'm trying to do while working from home is to actually act as if I'm going to the office. Oh my god, this is a mess here. I started the vlog I started a vlog yesterday and Oh you know what actually I am going to give you this tutorial right now in this exact morning before I even start working. I think that's a good idea. Need to Sanitize after saying all of this. Do you? Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So a lot of you asked me how I did the blur effect that I did in my last video, which I'm gonna link somewhere here. And actually I'm lying because no one asked me how I did the blur effect because I barely have any subscribers and I don't have any sponsors and any of that on YouTube. So if you think you guys want to support me, just please go ahead and click the subscribe button and click on the bell ring because that way you guys will start asking me more things and I'm going to start making more videos and then I'll start making money and then everyone will be happy and then Corona will die and yeah. But anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how I did this Gaussian effect. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, way better. All right, you guys, we are in Final Cut and that's the clip we're going to be working with. Um, obviously, I'm going to put a link for it below. So if you want to download it and use it as a base to practice the blur effect, that would be completely fine. So there are obviously around, I think, three or four steps to, to do this. The first thing is to realize, to know where to add my cuts. Uh, there are three important points for the cuts. The moment where I add the first blur effect on the entire screen. The second is where I start wiping the first half of the screen and the third is when I wipe the second half of the screen. So let's start. Uh, first one is when I exhale. And at this point, I would need to add my first um, cut. So I'll just come to, you can see from the sound wave that this is where I exhale. So I'll add my first cut over here. Now I'll keep it playing. And at this point is where I start wiping. You could see from the sound waves as well. So I'll just hit B and then do a cut somewhere here. It doesn't matter where it doesn't have to be super exact. And at this I'm point, sorry. I'm wiping. And by the time I do my hand, I would need half of the screen to be blurred and this part to be clear. So I'll just keep it. And then as soon as I start wiping the second half, and then this is at this point where I don't need any blur anymore. So these are the three important points. So now I have first, I have four clips. Let's start. Go to your transition to your, uh, sorry, go to your effects tab and just click Gaussian. What happened? Gaussian, perfect. Drag and drop on top of your second clip. Now to move from the first clip to the second clip, Perfect, it worked perfectly, perfectly fine. Now, we need to work on the second and third clip. At this moment, only this clip is blurred and this one is 
not Sorry. as you could as you could tell what we'll do first is we need to add a mask effect so we hit option first click with the mouse and drag it on top of the first clip so now i have two clips that are exactly the same second would be go back to your effects tab and type draw and then you get draw mask drag and drop it on top of your first clip now basically what i'm going to do is i need to draw a mask half on half of this clip where the first half this half would be clear and the second half would be blurred so to do that i'll just click anywhere it doesn't matter where all i need is to make sure that i draw the mask where my hand was so let's say i'll do it doesn't have to be super exact because it is a fast and quick wipe and there you go my mask is done now you could see nothing happened because both clips are the same but let's say i click v to disable this now i know that my mask is on the half that is on the left which is not what i want so i'll invert it and that's the part that i want blurred next what we'll do is we'll add the gaussian on top of the first clip so gaussian effect drag drop on top of the first clip and now you could tell that this is the part that is blurred and now if i remove the the v i i, I re-enable the clip that's under you could see that this is the one that is clear now so let's play i'm sorry and when i move my hand you could easily tell that that's the part that is blurred and that's the part that is uh, clear now if you want to make the mask better what you could do is just play a little bit with uh, your feathering just so that you don't have a harsh line because it cannot be in real life a harsh line and then just increase the fall off reduce the feathering and I'm sorry. there you go let's watch it one more time perfect clear blurred and then by the time we move to the next one Voila, everything yeah. is 100 percent clear. Super super duper hope you guys enjoyed this video. This effect is really cool. You could use it in many instances, especially whenever you want to remove text or you want to add a small funny joke uh, into your vlogs. I think this works way better in vlogs than if it was a professional shoot. But in the meantime, just don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit this bell button. And I'll see you next time. Peace.